but it's been a while, so I wanted to take you all along on one of my first assignments for this beautiful Saturday in fall, early fall, really pretty. I can't really look right at the camera for very long because it's really wet out here and muddy even though I have great boots. Look at my boots. I love Timberland. The reason I like Timberland and I've always worn them is because they are the greatest tread on the shelf. And with what I do, and as I get older, I need frog's feet. <laughs> and that's what these things are. They just, they grip everything. I haven't tried climbing a tree with them yet. I should try that. Wow, what a mess. Wow, that was really disgusting. So that's uh, that's part of my day at work. <laughs> and I didn't show you the gory part. <coughs> One of the trees I found in the trap, well over 100 carcasses. And uh, thank God they're Ziploc bags. And I opened them up and emptied them. And as I was emptying them, the other SLF on the tree were climbing up into the trap. So that's a good thing. But these were actually decommissioned last year, but I asked for permission to leave them up. And it's a good thing I did because uh, I got to notice how they are adapting so well to this environment. You know, years ago, Scientists said that the woolly addle jig would never make it to the Adirondacks because of the cold temperatures, but there it is. So with that in mind, I wanted to keep these traps up to see what the activity would be. Last year, uh, in I think it was November, we, it made it through, and this is southern New York, so it's a little more temperate here. We're right next to the Hudson River. They made it through two good frosts, two pretty heavy frosts, and one snowstorm of about three to four inches. These buggers will lay eggs from now, September, until December. It looks like somebody took a spackling knife with some, um, some cement and just scraped it on the tree in a patch about that big, sometimes a little longer, sometimes a little narrower. You could just rub it off with your boot, gloved hand, easy to get rid of. I was just talking to a park ranger here. We were discussing the egg situation and he agreed that it seems like they're adapting in that way too. Um, you know, typical invasive species. And what's happened is they are going up into the canopy, way, way up. Not this tree in particular. That's a uh, that's a black birch, by the way. So that's what's happening. They're they're going up into the damn canopy, and they're laying their eggs. So it's like, oh my god. <laughs> you know, it's it's good work. Um, good solid work. Uh, you're working with life and you're at, I'm out in the woods. I mean, I'm in great shape and I am so thankful for the income and it's, it's great. But when I look around, it's like, you know, I remember growing up with gypsy caterpillar moths and that seemed pretty bad, but uh, it just seems to be more and more. And I know that it has been said that it's because we have more imports and we're more global. I'm not buying that. Uh, we are travelers by nature. We always have been. We have been for pretty much the entire existence of us on Earth. So it doesn't matter what country it is or what continent it is. Something else is up. I'm not a climate change person as far as I'm concerned. That's spring, summer, winter, and fall. Uh, the Earth warming up. I'm not so sure about that because it. it I mean, the, I, we haven't had ice. I'm still on the fence about that, I'm not sure. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, Oh, that's another thing, I don't know if people are noticing, but because of the high water table, um, the, uh, it's called rust, it's an anthracnose. It's a, it's a fungal, fungal infestation. And if, here, let me take you close to it. Here's one right here. 
maple trees. You know, that's where we get most of our color from. That's the fungal infection that will come if the water table is too high. Even if we go through a drought at some point in time and the water table remains high, because that, that's almost like a separate entity compared to what comes down out of the sky, or what's happening above ground. Um, the ground can hold a hell of a lot of water. We're not gonna be running out anytime soon. So that's what happened to the maples, and I hear a lot of people saying, oh, we're not gonna get any color. And some places there are. I was up in the Catskills near Hunter Mountain last weekend, and I saw quite a bit. I just heard a tree come down. It's windy, but I'm not taking any chances, so I'm out of here. All right, so to wrap it up, um, I've had a terrible problem with bears in this section, and uh, if you look at some of my older videos throughout the summer, it'll explain that. Um, it's windy. It's been extremely wet. The dead branches are going to come down in the wind, but usually a tree being knocked over is a black bear's calling card. So the ranger said there hasn't been a sighting since August. So maybe they moved on, found new territories because they were so thick in here. They were bumping elbows. Most of the trees had anywhere between 10 and 50 SLF in the trap combined on the tree. So I'm glad I left those traps up, and it's a good way to keep an eye on how they are progressing with their <laughs> my head's on a swivel with their adaptivity. Um, so there you have it, folks. All right, well I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting back to the car. Maybe go get me a latte or something. I'm a latte kind of gal. All right, folks, have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye.